Hi guys, George here again. I've just finished off a really busy week of new face watch installations and I thought I'd round the week off with another exciting vlog for you. Still got the beard going, but after a good manscaping session, I'm hoping it looks a little more professional. And as you can see, I'm still working from home. So this week, I wanna talk about something that's quite topical at the moment, face masks. So as the lockdown measures are slowly eased and businesses begin to reopen, we're probably gonna see a lot more of these about. Now, if your business is being protected by FaceWatch, you might be concerned that these will interfere with the FaceWatch system. I'm here to put your mind at rest. We've been implementing a new periocular algorithm. So this means that it's gonna be able to detect and match faces using only the regions around the eyes and the eyebrows. Really impressive stuff, let's take a look. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm showing an internal testing software here. So the actual software our customers use looks a little different to this. Now I've got a selfie of me without a face mask enrolled to the watch list. So if I put my face mask on now and then go in front of the camera, it's instantly detected my face and it's been able to generate a match between the image with the face mask and without. And if we hover over here, we can see that it's still 92% sure that that's the same individual. While we're on the subject, I've had loads of people in the past asking me how the system deals with things like hats or sunglasses. So let's give it a go and find out. I've got my trusty Express Pay hat with me and my polarized sunglasses. So I'll put my face in front of the camera and see if it's still able to generate a match. There we go, instant. And if we look at the similarity score, so it's 99% sure that that's the same individual. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope that's answered a lot of people's questions. I'm now off to enjoy some sun. These might come in handy.